Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today I want to talk about UV light and UV uh, UV flashlight, like flashlight with UV feature. Okay, and also why you need them and uh, what's the difference between the cheapos that cost a little bit compared to the real deal that you should get. So there we go. Um, first of all, you see that we have a bill money Canadian dollar. Okay. Um, we're going to check this bill to see if it's a counterfeit or not by using UV. So, before I start, people will think, hey, UV, you can use UV light to sterilize water. Uh, that's right, but this is not the same type of UV. Okay, There are things like this, sturdy pen, which is actually a UV uh, pen, and they emit different kind of UV. Okay. So there's UV A, B, C, so these are the UV C kind of beam. You press and then you put it inside the water and you mix and then it will have the UV light there and mix with your water and sterilize it. So that's basically what you use for the water and you cannot use these for your water. It's not the same thing, okay? So I'll put this aside. Okay, now here we have three different UV light that I want to show you today. One is the ultra fire bullshit um yeah these chinese uh cheapos that you can find on ebay amazon for a very cheap price they are actually uh not gonna work in a real situation well they do have some like uv to a certain degree but they're not really good and they don't work for some situation now here i'll show you why first of all the contacts uh in these things are really poorly done okay first of all you can see inside here like it's not even even and when you take out the battery you know the threads are not properly done and they're rough also when you unscrew the parts okay you can see that the the contacts here is very messy and yes my light is already not fully functional right now sometimes it will flicker sometimes the contacts not working so yeah these cheapos they're like that okay so it's a waste of money to buy one but sometimes people do get them because they're cheaper and i'll show you why you should not spend your money on these okay okay so there we go this is the money this is uv light okay and then here we have a night core cu6 which is the one of the most powerful flashlight with uv feature as you can see this is the uv and um okay so we have a lot of different modes of this flashlight there's a flashlight here with a lot of different modes, uh, brightness. And then we have the other side, which is UV, secondary, red, green, blue, UV again. Okay, so that's, that's a lot of uh, different things you have. Now, this is the Nightcore P20 UV, which is uh, a model that is specifically made for police duty use. And uh, it has a four UV bulb inside. Okay, you can use the UV, you can use the light, and there's a strobe. Okay, now I'll compare the different UV under the light right here. Okay, let's shut the light off. Make sure everywhere is very dark and you have your bill right here. Okay, Okay. so now we're, I'm trying to put this a little bit, you see it's flickering. Okay, I'm trying to go like that for, ah! Come on, okay. So you can see the little neon green thing glowing, okay. Those little neon things are showing up and those are the UV. As I shine to the head right here, you cannot really see much right here, okay. So the head is like that, okay. Now let's try with a uh, Nightcore P20 UV. This legit UV, okay. See, you cannot see a lot of uh, purple color right here, right? Not much purple. It's not like a pink purple light. But you can see the neon, okay? The neon stripe. And most important is, can you see that 20 revealing? Okay, there's a 20 and then there's a Bank of Canada showing right here. And that's what you want to see, okay? So with the other light, you cannot even see shit right here and it doesn't work, okay? That's the difference between the legit and a non-legit UV light. Now let me take my Nikkor CU6 
and get it on UV mode and you can see it very strongly the uh, neon color uh, little lines and very strongly there's the 20 and then there's Bank of Canada okay now that's the stuff you can see with a legit UV and this eBay crap you cannot really see much and it's like just a lot of purple bluish light and a little bit of UV showing up like that okay so the cheap poles are like that you cannot really like there's a lot of stuff that doesn't show up with the cheap pole you see right here you can't even see that $20 the 20 right here you can't even see it but with this one they go closer you can see it 20 okay. or this one stronger one see so that's why you need a proper UV light. It's not like, hey, it's cheap, it's okay. But a proper UV light ensures that you can see everything you want to see and uh, there's no, no mistake in that kind of situation. Also, when you're cleaning uh, your house or your toilet, which is very nasty, but yeah, when you try to clean your house, um, you can use UV light to like turn off the, the, the light inside your toilet or washroom and then use the UV light to scan around the floor which is very scary but yeah you can check and inspect everything around there and lots of stuff will glow <laughs> okay so um yeah these UV light the cheapo ultra fire crap they will show up a little bit but some of those things uh, that you really need to see you will not see it when you get one very serious UV light, like the Nightcore CU6, which is the very legit one and a powerful one, whereas the Nightcore P20 UV is made for close-up range, like close-range in inspection more than uh, long-range. The CU6 has a nicer, bigger bulb for, for the UV, so you can see further out and more vivid color. So when you're using it for cleaning, the CU6 can show you a lot more stuff. And so when you inspect your bathroom with the uh, ultra fire crab, you're like, hey, I'm okay, I'm okay. And then when you take one of these CU6 and then you shine around, you're like, holy shit, <laughs> where, the, where the hell did these things come from? And then you're like, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> so you better get, a, uh, get yourself a proper UV light if you want to use UV light to help you clean up. UV light will um make a lot of things grow they could not grow glow okay they will make uh urine stain <laughs> okay urine um soap now, a lot of different things will show up uh under the uv light so yeah especially if you have pets and uh, you're trying to like clean up the urine stain or find spots and stuff on the carpet these things would definitely help you do the job very fast and uh not like you don't have to really guess and you know touch around stuff like that it really helps and so uh yeah besides that uh, things like scorpion and stuff also shows up um yeah so basically uv light is actually very very helpful for daily cleaning and also for things like checking your id checking your um money and stuff like that so if you go out and carry a flashlight like the Nikkor P20 UV, it's a very small light, very compact size. Okay, you can fit this inside your pocket and it's not so big. So you have this and a UV light for close up inspection of the money that you receive, which is very safe. Um, and you won't be scammed, so that's pretty good. Now, for uh, a trip, like going to a camping trip or a hotel, you will want a CU6. Nightcore CU6. When you go to a hotel, those beds and the beddings, the bed sheets, are often filled with mysterious crap on there, which is invisible to the naked eyes. When you have your Nightcore CU6 and you scan around like that, you will spot the real stain there. And if you do spot something, you better tell them to change it, or you move out of that room and go to an other room or an other hotel. You will not be able to to spot those uh, stains with a crappy light or maybe not most of the stains with a crappy light. Not forget that the remote control 
the uh, TV knobs and stuff like that are the most nasty things in hotels. So if you ever like look at those shows on YouTube, like Hell's Kitchen, uh, stuff like that, you know, they they have uh, 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 people going to different hotels, restaurants, and checking their hygiene. <laughs> wow, when the UV light turns on, like all the crap shows up, and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> why it's like that, right? So. Yeah, when you go to hotel for a trip, uh, it's best to have a UV light handy, but you don't want to bring those like for like big tubes kind of uh, fluorescent tube kind of UV light. You know those big black light. You don't want to bring one of those because it's so bulky. So technology today allows you to bring a UV light in with your flashlight, like this Nikkor CU6. You bring it this with you. It just like slips in your pocket or this one just goes to your pocket and you can basically go around the room with it and check everything out before you actually sleep on that disgusting bed. So basically it's a very handy tool and it's a must have tool if you're always going on trips uh, living in hotel rooms and such like that for cleaning purposes. Yeah, a lot of people are really confused like why people need a UV light. I mean, I don't receive money like a banker all day long. Why do I need UV light? Well, you do. If you go on a trip and you go to hotels and stuff like that, you do need a UV light to help you out in case you sleep on some mysterious stuff uh at, at night and you know, who knows what's there, right? Anyway, so there you go. Cheapos are not reliable. They screwed up okay now you see my my light is on right look at that see it's off and it turns on again it is off again you see not reliable okay you see it turns on and off okay legit one no matter what you do to it it will work okay so basically